So I'm just doing a random vlog. Come on. Okay, so again, a day of cleaning. I did some, recorded some YouTube videos, which is good. And then I started doing laundry, I made food. I, I, I did okay. Uh, I sp it was eating on my bed and I spilled some on my bed so I had to like wash the thing that I had on the top of the bed. But that's okay because I've got extra ones of those. I mean, what I use is the same thing that I have hanging in my windows are um, drop cloths, all natural cotton. I really like them. So I do also cover this hideous table that I use for shooting. And uh, and I put one on the top of my bed too, because it makes layers, it's good. Uh, there's something that I do, which is a tip. I'm, I'm thinking that I'm gonna do more tip videos. And one of the tip videos that I'm going to do will probably, be, I don't know, there'll be many household ones. There'll be household cleaning. I have a lot of rules. I always did. And they're pretty good rules. And even, even girlfriends that I've had that res have resented me for dictating all of these rules have said that they're still good despite... Anyway, so one of the... the one of the things that I like to do is every single thing that you own has to be like a piece of art. It has to be like, well, what's art to somebody might not be art to another person. But I, but yes, everything that you have should be. And that, that usually is my goal. Every once in a while, this keeps reminding me because I've got this, even though this isn't the worst thing that I could have because it does fit some of the criteria that I have, which it's white, but it's white plastic. Laundry baskets, you can, you can get a really nice basket one. There's so many really nice laundry baskets and that's a pretty cheap one, but that was the one that I, the best looking one at the time that I could find that I almost accepted and it really isn't that bad, but I've had that for, a few months and every time I see it it reminds me that that's one thing that's not perfect. I mean nothing is really perfect. It took me a while to find the light or the right light switch plate and yeah I, the, you know just the builder plastic one wasn't good enough. I mean come on I've got some boards screwed together but still it fits my criteria and it's wood and it's chrome screws and it's nice that it was built myself. That table, that card table that I'm using was just came with this house and covered in a thing. It's okay. It also is a big moment when it's at the foot of the bed. So that's okay. I'm making my bed right now. Super productive day. I don't know if I said that already. Got up really early, probably. Oh, you know what? I think I got up at way too early. I think I got up at one. I can't remember anymore the days, you know, and how the days are melting into one another. I'm gonna make my bed right now. Well, oh, I just have to fix it up. Uh, I can't do another vlog of me making. Yes, I can. Why not? I did. I did some exercising today. That was cool. And we'll use this hideous laundry basket. Put you right in front of a, a blaring light. I think that should go here. I don't know what else I can tell you. Uh, I have these. I don't really like bamboo wood, but these boxes are pretty nice that I got at the dollar store. I kind of, because I have so much pine, I tend to stick with pine, but in a perfect world, you know, if I was had inexpensive income, everything I own would be from Restoration Hardware. There was a series that probably doesn't exist anymore. It was called um, uh, 
was called something that means taken apart. Um, I don't know why I, the word isn't coming to me. Anyway, everything looked like it was from a castle, but it was all disassembled. I almost, almost had the word. Yeah, I'm not going to do a vlog of me trying to remember what a word is. This should be a full-on make your bed from scratch day, maybe. But I'm not going to do that, I don't think. We'll see how this turns out. So, yeah, things that I like are... Well, things that accidentally happened is wrought iron. So, black metal furniture is very common for me. Just because of this bed. Because this bed was the most affordable antique queen size bed I could find. Did you know if you get an antique bed that they don't really exist? In, in queen, you can get a double. Maybe I should have just got a real antique double bed. The bed before this one, I made myself and it was pretty nice. But it was really heavy. And I also had a roommate who kind of ruined it when I swapped rooms with them. I guess that was many, many years ago. Okay, yeah, so wood, natural cotton, black metal, chrome metal, even though if I was to start all over again, gold is definitely more favorite. I'd have all brass taps and stuff, but, you know, chrome things are much more easily attainable and look just as good. This bed comes with black and chrome. Just telling you the things that I like, I guess, today. I'm going to have a, um, a, a, I made custard. So, I'm going to have that today, and for dinner, I was going to do it in a mukbang, but I didn't, which I could have done this instead. I had cucumbers and tomatoes. You're going to see that grocery haul. That's going to be another video. My videos aren't very interesting. I look, I put um, something else I wanted to discuss with you. I put gel in my hair, which I don't like the look of how I like how I can make my hair look good and I think it makes my face look better. I look super young. But I prefer my hair to be natural, like with nothing in it, because it's just it's so much better that way. But I don't look as good. But I also don't like how my hair looks. Okay, but I like how my hair is really complicated. I like how my hair looks, but I don't like how it looks. I don't like that it looks sticky and wet and perfect. I would much prefer it to look dry and free flowing, but when my hair is dry and free flowing, then I don't look as good. My hair makes or breaks me. Something else I want to try is I want to do, I want to try in my clothes. I find that there's this major misconception of how I think I look in my clothes and how I actually look in my clothes because, you know, sometimes you put on your favorite outfit and then you go out and then maybe you go to a store and there's a full length mirror and you see how you actually look. Because I don't actually take the time to, uh, 
consider how I actually look. I just really go on how I feel. And I know what I and I know what I like. But it probably doesn't always look good. I heard that my dryer just stopped. So I have to go downstairs and take that out. Which is only um, a couple of things because everything else I've hung to dry. I washed my winter coat so I don't have to uh, because I'm not going to wear it anymore tomorrow. It's going to be 22 degrees. So that's awesome. I'm really excited about that. I'll probably go for a bike ride and that means I'll probably end up at some Walmart that's further away than normal. And I'll probably look at the toys, but this is the second month of not paying my rent. So it really hit me hard this morning. And I, I'm, I'm kind of like worried. There's this thing like, do I, what do I, I feel I don't I don't know my the person who I pay rent to is a friend of mine so I don't know I don't know if they would say it's okay but I have promised to do all kinds of things for them they wanted to take that out but I'm saying because um, it's taking me um, it's gonna I, I'll do all the things that they want me to do, but that's just gonna be interest on me not um, Paying my rent for so long. How long is it gonna last? I think the quarantine is lifting for a lot of people Maybe I should have just gone and get a grocery store job. I don't know if I can get a job These are uh, 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 These are the uh, these are the things that, yeah, I, I don't know. But then I also remember that everybody's, this is happening to everybody. So it's kind of okay. Like all my groceries are going on my credit card. I'm going to owe all of this back rent. I'm going to be in huge trouble maybe. Am I going to be paying this off for years? Will I be able, will... Will this, maybe this will end, maybe I won't even have a job to go back to once this is all over. And then maybe, maybe I do have to do something else. I was always, I was counting on selling my toys, like some of the expensive toys, like these Masters of the Universe figures. But I don't know if people want to buy them. But maybe I, sh and then I think, oh, nobody wants these, and that's true, I do collect a lot of things that nobody else would want. The toys that I have aren't toys that people like. I kind of, because I, I don't know, things that are less, um, things that don't cost very much, I will um, learn to like because they're affordable, and I will love them for what they are, and maybe it's because I feel bad that those toys aren't loved, and I will love them. I'm pretty, I'm pretty um, choosy about which toys I like, though. You wouldn't think that from my toy hauls, though, would you? This isn't a toy channel, though. I'm not supposed to be talking about that. And I'm, try, I'm trying to get as much stuff out as possible and not make the... I thought that, that I wouldn't be able to get any content out here, but I can't stop um, updating myself. I do find that, uh, that... We'll just end it here, and if there's anything else up to say, we'll just, I'll make another vlog, one other... So, um, I love you. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Probably looked really skinny today, and I should... Maybe I,